I'm sure the fourth episode of Endor made many fans happy. Not only because it finally feels like Star Wars, but because it contains so much lore. Writers decided to mention the Rakata Empire, which fans deemed non-canon anymore. They also left some easter eggs for us to find. Let's scan this antique shop and try to find everything the writers hid here. Starting off with Sith Stalker armor. If you're a long-time fan, this item was probably the first one you noticed. I don't think it's the Star Killer's armor, it's not possible because of the time period. This is just a pleasant gift from the creators, which evokes warm and nice memories of the Force Unleashed game. Let's hope and maybe one day Disney will bring Starkiller back. The second item I noticed was the Mandalorian chestplate. It looks exactly like Din Djarin's Beskar chestplate, but it can belong to him because at this time he is either a child or a teenager. I also thought it could belong to Django, but his chestplate is flatter, so that's not the case either. The third item can be seen in the same scene and it is the Kelic Cori. It was a Twi'lek heirloom which was passed from parent to child through generations. It was worthless for anyone except Twi'leks who held this relic beyond value. A familiar mask can also be spotted in this scene. It is a special mask worn by Keldor species, species Jedi Master Plo Koon belongs to. This mask was always on Plo Koon's face to protect his sensitive eyes, lungs and nostrils from the oxygen-rich atmosphere. When Mon Mothma and Luthen go to the back room of the shop, Lady Assistant offers the guy to see other relics they possess. And among these relics is a broken memorial of Mortis gods. The Mortis arc was one of the best arcs in the Clone Wars TV show, which told us the story about the son, the daughter and the father. Embodiments of the dark side, the light side and the balance respectively. As the camera angle switches, we see the Gungan shield. We saw this in episode 1 The Phantom Menace for the first time, when Gungans were fighting the droid army on Naboo. And the last item, two items actually, can be seen in the back room. On the shelf we can see Sith and Jedi holocrons, special storage devices that held ancient knowledge about the light and the dark side of the force. Jedi and Sith held holocrons dear, so I wonder how Luthen got them. And that's every item I'm familiar with. If you have something to add, feel free to write in the comment section. Maybe there's something I didn't notice. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!